Hi, I'm Adam Torson. I'm a master plumber with Gen 3 Plumbing. I'm also a Kohler authorized service representative with over 20 plus years experience in the plumbing industry. I'm here to show you how to install the new Avoir toilet. So let's get started. Today, we will be installing the new Kohler Avoir tankless toilet. Before we get started, I want to talk about a few of the features that make this toilet so unique. Avoir is the next generation of one-piece toilets with a skirted design, is contemporary, easy to maintain, and clean. This tankless design uses waterline pressure to flush compared to gravity fed flush for ultimate power and performance. Comfort height with quiet closed seat and cover. Before getting started, make sure to refer to the installation instructions packed with your product for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Let's get into the installation. I've already installed the provided water supply stop. Now let's make sure the flow rate meets the requirement of 6.5 gallons per minute. We have a three gallon bucket. With a line marked at 1.1 gallons, turn on the water and confirm that the water reaches or surpasses the line in 10 seconds. Before moving on, disconnect the supply hose from the supply stop. Now it's time to install Kohler's patented Ready Lock Trapway System. Ready Lock makes skirted toilet installation a cinch. Current trapway supports a 12 inch rough end. The product can also be installed in a 14 inch rough end. Start by installing two T bolts into the floor flange. Install a new wax ring to the bottom of the trapway, then press the trapway into place over the T bolts and floor flange. Align the bridge bracket over the T bolts and trapway. Confirm the bridge bracket is square to the wall, then secure it with washers and nuts. Then, install the L brackets onto the outer holes of the bridge bracket with the provided washers and bolts. Next, install the plastic cams to the L brackets with the provided bolts and push nuts. Finally, install a metal shim between each cam and the L bracket. Before we move the toilet into place, we need to install the supply hose to the toilet. First, disassemble the safety clip using a flat blade screwdriver. Set this mechanism aside. To make the installation of the supply hose a little easier, we are going to lay the toilet on its side. It's always a good idea to have some help when moving the toilet. Verify the O-rings on the supply hose are still in place, then press the supply hose into the inlet on the toilet. Press the metal clip around the connection point, then secure the supply hose in place with the plastic safety clip. Okay, we have the trapway installed and the supply hose attached to the toilet. Let's move on to installing the toilet. Line up the cardboard template, which is part of the box the toilet came in, with the trapway. With assistance, move the toilet into position so the front edge of the toilet is lined up on the template. Then lower the toilet into place over the trapway. Slide the template out from under the toilet and discard. Insert the screw through the grommet, then into the holes on each side of the toilet, and tighten each screw evenly to secure the toilet to the trapway. Take care not to over tighten the screws. Finally, press a cap over each of the screws. Next comes the toilet seat and cover. Remove the access cover and the battery cartridge from the seat. Then press the four bumpers into place on the underside of the seat. Remove the two bolts from the back of the toilet and set them aside. Position the toilet seat onto the toilet and push the seat towards the back of the toilet to allow for room to install the cover. Notice that the hole on the seat and the toilet are not aligned at this time. With the cover open, position the hinge receiver over the rectangular opening in the mounting frame. Reposition the toilet seat forward, confirming the back of the cover and the seat are flush. Adjust the seat and cover so the holes are aligned with the holes in the mounting frame. Slide the cover forward until the hinge receiver engages with the front of the rectangular opening. Then partially secure the seat cover with the provided L brackets and bolts. 
place a washer around three of the bolts and insert them into the two holes on the left and the back right hole. Place the L bracket around the fourth bolt and insert it into the front right hole. Partially secure all four bolts. Close the cover and verify the seat and cover are properly aligned. Adjust as needed for right-left positioning. Open cover and fully secure all six bolts. We're almost done. All that's left is to install the battery cartridge and connect the water. Install the four included AA batteries to the battery cartridge. Then install the cartridge to the toilet seat. These batteries will last approximately a year. Then connect the battery cartridge wire and the wire coming from the flushing mechanism. Install the access cover to the toilet seat. If the access cover has gaps or does not fully attach, then loosen bolts and adjust positions so that the back of the cover and seat housing are flush, then retighten. Connect the supply hose to the water supply stop, turn on the water, and check all connections for leaks. With that, the installation is complete.